Liebe and Gary, how are you both today? Doing great, Rama. How are you, brother? Good, good, good. Congratulations on Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. I've watched a few episodes, very much enjoyed it. Libe, you voice Casey, the spunky PR manager of Lunella, aka Moon Girl, also Lunella's BFF. Uh, I love that episode about the hair, by the way. <laughs> uh, how much, uh, Libe, how much of your vibrant personality that you inject into Casey? Um, because you strike me as having the same amount of energy as Casey or enthusiasm. <laughs> am I right or am I wrong? <laughs> I feel like I put in, there's so much, there's so much real there in Casey, like every, I, I put every ounce of myself into her, like in the moment, in the vibrant moments where she's like cheering Lunella on or, or, you know, or she's like by moon girl side and, you know, the, the heartfelt moments where like there is, you know, there's issue, you know, if, if there's like, there's like real turmoil there, like that stuff. I put as much of me as I can into there because like, it's such a special show that's like written so beautifully and the friendship is so beautiful that I'm like, it deserves every ounce that I can give. But Libe, what makes Casey a good manager? Is it her influencer, influencer skills? Is it her social media skills? Is it her collection of hairs? Is it all of the above? Yeah, I mean, I think that definitely like her, she is, yeah, she's a social media maven who like understands social media in a way that like I mean that like only a 13 year old can you know like she, that is the future and she understands it and so she knows how to create the superhero that becomes moon girl in a lot of ways and also I and I also think that equally as important is like how much she cares about Lunella and moon girl and like that love and friendship is very real there and I think that that's really what makes her such a good manager and publicist because she like cares and loves she cares about and loves Lunella so much Gary you are a fantastic comedian in your own right a Thank great you, improv man. comic one of my favorites on whose line Thank you. Um, and Pep oh, I'm sorry Pops uh, has mm -hmm. his comedic and humorous moments did you inject some of your own comedic stylings and probably ad libs into this or did you mostly rely on the scripts uh, trusting that the scripts could bring out the funny in Pops I refuse to give any of myself to this project drama. I refuse. <laughs> no, like, first of all, I think Libe may have touched on this. Like, the scripts are already fantastic. The scripts are fantastic. And then they allow you to play. They allow you to bring some of your own voice into it. Um, so a little bit of all of that. You know, they give you such an amazing foundation to start with. And then they'll go like, hey, mess with it a little bit if you want to. And so a, a little bit of all of that. And, and it's set in such a world where you know your character dynamics and you know the framework of who this person is. So it leaves you a very safe place to play in. Um, so yeah, I, I took a little bit of my own stylings <laughs> and then definitely it's already there on the page. Like I could go in and read it exactly as it is off the page and it still be a beautiful thing. But when they let you add some of yourself to it, then you know, you got a, you, you got a great job that you want to do all the time. You bring up character dynamics. Uh, I, I love Pops and Mimi uh, on this show. Uh, talk to me, uh, did you get to work with Alfred Woodard in, in creating the character dynamics on this show? Is it like or separate booth sort of a deal? How does I, that work? I had a very different experience than Libe. Uh, Libe got to go in the booth with uh, Diamond and they recorded, well, in mm. separate booths, but together, they recorded together. I think only two episodes did I record with anyone. Um, because a lot of this we filmed uh, at the height of COVID. Mm -hmm. So I have a booth at my home and I worked, I worked separately from everyone. I never met Alfred till we did a promo situation together. It was the first time we ever came face to face with each other. Uh, so it was, sometimes I would ask if it's like very emotional moments, I would ask them to play me um, some of the other people's performances. Uh, they did start it out uh, right by letting us work together in that first episode so then I really got the vibe of oh, okay I see how she works I, she sees how I work and then after that uh, th after that it was uh, separate you just depended on the script and if you needed to hear some voice reference from the other people I love this show all right Lee Ben Gary thank you so much for talking to me and congratulations thank you so much Rama <laughs>